Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are looking at pens from this brand. This is Ellington Pens, based in London in the UK or designed in London in the UK. These are um, a range of pens that were launched a couple of years ago. Uh, and uh, there's one model so far with a range of different colors and finishes um, and they are quite affordable uh, and they have some nice features. So we're going to talk about these pens today uh, and I'll do a writing sample and all those kinds of things. So I, and I have three of them to look at, which is really great. This is the box they come in, simple box, barcodes, all that kind of stuff. The ultimate pen for explorers, creatives and achievers written there on the back. And then uh, this, you know, uh, need help getting started with your new Ellington pen, just visit ellingtonpens.com or scan this QR code. Gives you a great access to uh, instruction manual information and stuff like that. Okay, inside that is this box, which is a simple, you know, black clamshell box with Ellington pens on the front there again. You open that up, you got the Ellington logo again in the lid of the box. The pen comes in a little plastic sleeve. You get a little bit of uh, more information there. And then three ink cartridges, which is always great. So that's how the pen comes packaged. Let's now look at the pen. I have three of these to look at here today. Uh, and these are three of the many, many different finishes you can get. I have the Stealth, uh, the Silver Sonata, and the Scarlet Slate. Now I have three different nib sizes, so I'm gonna do a quick writing sample with all three. I'm gonna talk about the parts and features and all of that kind of stuff. A little bit of backstory. Um, so Ellington Pens was founded by Ethan Ellington, uh, who has a background in mathematics and education and stuff like that, and uh, used a range of pens over the years and um, with, well, some having sort of relatively exorbitant price tags, and he realized there has to be a way to make pens affordable. So over the period of the pandemic, uh, he worked on designing a pen that could be made affordably and all of that kind of stuff and still had the features that he wanted to see. And this pen was launched uh, towards the end of 2021, I think. There were eight original finishes uh, and the eight sides of this uh, feature on the top uh, represent those eight original finishes. I think that's a nice, neat little uh, feature there. So let's talk about the parts and features. I'm going to use the red one here, the scarlet slate for the you know, parts and features and everything. So we start at the top and there's this like peaked dome uh, on the top there. And then we get that eight sided uh, nut feature, which actually does come undone uh, and holds the cap in place or the clip, sorry, um, easy enough to sort of screw down and you know make everything nice and tight. This clip is very simple. It's flexible and usable on different materials, all of that kind of stuff. The cap continues along, actually just very quickly, like that red material's got a nice depth to it. I like that a lot. Little uh, cap band on the end of the clip uh, cap there that says Ellington, that's it. The barrel of the pen continues along, tapers down, and we get a little end cap there, which is flat. Now, depending on the finish of the pen, the color combinations and things might be slightly different. For instance, on these two, it's just all black or all chrome. The cap is a snap cap and has a lovely snap and actually capping it feels really great. Step down on these chrome section onto a, cr onto a chrome grip section, which tapers down quite, you know, a lot to a little step down and then a smaller nib. It's about a number four size or number four to five size nib. It is a smaller nib, uh, but I think it's actually in proportion with most of the pen there. It's not a big pen and it feel does feel smaller in your hand. You unscrew the bo uh, body of the pen on these you know, metal threads. And I think the material is like a lacquered brass or something along those lines. It's got some good weight to it. It's They're nicely made. Uh, it's actually, the build quality is, is very nice. Um, and the pen does come with a converter. A very simple converter here. Um, typical of a number of Chinese made pens. Um, and also those uh, cartridges, as well as, you know, cartridges being available here in this, like, little tray where you can get uh, 12 black and 12 blue in a box there by Ellington Pens. And that's what I actually have the blue cartridge from those box in each of uh, the three pens today. Now, these are Chinese-made pens. They are made in China for Ellington Pen. Now, there is talk, are these generic pens just rebranded, all of that kind of stuff. There's... 
there are elements that are borrowed, of course. Like, these are made in China by Factory, who makes pens for a number of brands, I would assume. But there are some nice design elements and things that sort of set this apart, like that bolt feature and the finial on the top there being nice and unique and actually, I think, nice design elements as well. So that's the basic parts and features of the pen. It's a simple pen, it's a clean pen, it's a smaller pen. Let's do a size comparison now. So I've got it here alongside the Lamy Safari. Um, you can see it's about the same length, so it's actually not that smaller pen. It just feels small uh, in the hand because it does have a relatively small grip section. And you can see when it's uncapped, it is much smaller there than the Lamy Safari, and it does have a relatively thin section and a smaller nib. Although I do have to say that nib is very attractive. The simplicity of it with that E uh, being laser engraved there is quite nice. And posted, you can see it's still shorter there than the Lamy Safari. Uh, it does post very nicely and quite deeply, uh, but it does set the weight off just slightly. There is a lot of weight uh, in the cap of this pen. So what are the dimensions of the Ellington pen uh, fountain pen here? Well, uh, it's 141 millimeters when it is capped. It's 121 when it's uncapped, so it is on the smaller side, and for some people this may be too small. Um, I find this comfortable enough, particularly for sort of shorter note-taking writing sessions, uh, and the balance to be quite nice in that format. Capped, or posted, sorry, it's 156 millimeters, so it's not a long pen, but you do put a lot of weight on the back there. The pen weighs 35 grams, 19 in the body and 16 in the cap, so almost half the pen's weight is going on the back of the pen here, and I have to say, a big chunk of that uh, is in the you know, the end of the, the cap there, you know, that uh, decorative nut and clip feature. The grip section is around nine millimeters in the middle there, so it is on the slimmer side. Um, I find this just okay to be to write with posted. As I said, I actually, because of the, that balance issue, even though it's small in the hand, I actually prefer to write with this pen unposted. Okay, so we have three of these to write with today. So let's start the writing sample here with the Ellington Pens Fountain Pen. This is the Scarlet Slate version, and I have this with the extra fine nib. And all these nibs are uh, stainless steel nibs, and the ink in all three of these is uh, the Ellington Pen Blue Cartridge. So let's do this writing sample. Etc. So that is the extra fine. We're now going to write with the fine nib, which I have here on the stealth model, which I think is very, very attractive. All black furniture. It's kind of got a matte finish and then a gloss black uh, trim. Once again, snap cap, everything is black, including this black nib, which is uh, engraved with a sort of a, with the E again and F for fine. I think this is a very striking looking pen. Um, so what I'll do is I'll write down here, this is the uh, Ellington pen, oh, bit of a hard start there. This is the Stealth. and that is the fine nib. I'll write with that here. Now to my eye, there's not a whole lot of difference there between the extra fine and the fine. In fact, in some strokes, the extra fine seems slightly broader than the fine. Um, but they are writing well and they write quite nicely. And yeah. then we have the medium nib here on the Silver Sonata model. Now, one thing I will say about this model is it's quite attractive, but it is an absolute fingerprint magnet. I've purposely not cleaned them off so you can see just how much it picks them up uh, under the light here. And this one has a medium nib. Uh, so we have the Ellington Pen Silver Sonnet, or Sonata, 
with a medium nib. Okay, and then same ink, all of that. You can see that's where we get a slightly more medium line, but the difference between the extra fine fine and the medium is not super drastic. It's not like, um, you know, going between an extra fine Yovo to a medium Yovo. It's, they're much more aligned, um, but they're very smooth. And they write quite well, and this one writes quite wet. I'm just going to pull the fine up again, because actually I really quite like this fine nib. Um, so this is the fine on the Stealth model. It's really, it's got a very nice feedback. It's a very stiff nib. Reverse writing, it's a bit drier, super stiff nib, but, you know, it's laying down an okay amount of ink. It's not super wet, but it's, you know, it's got a nice feel to it on the page. I enjoy writing with it quite a lot. So that is a writing sample from the three Ellington pen models I have. The Slate, the Stealth, and the, well, the Scarlet Slate the Stealth and the Silver Sonata, using extra fine, fine and medium nibs. You can see they write quite nicely, particularly the, um, I think the medium is quite wet, but I like the feel of the fine nib on the page. I think it's got a very lovely, um, gentle feedback to it, which I really enjoy. Okay, so we've looked at all three now. Let's talk about some pros and cons. Firstly, the pro are uh, the cons. Well, obviously these are going to be fingerprint magnets for some people, like you this silver one particularly but the section of all of them is well of the two of the silver chrome ones is metal and it is um black on the stealth of course so you are going to pick up fingerprints and these chrome sections are going to be people just don't like them they're slippery or whatever the case may be that's fine it is a smaller slimmer pen the balance of the pen posted is out it is back heavy but it's an okay size for most people to be able to do short writing sessions, particularly with, with it uncapped. Now, these are metal Chinese made fountain pens. Are they just generic pens? As I said before, I don't think they are. I think they're designed specifically for Ellington pen, using elements, of course, from other pens, but there's enough here to be unique to fit the style that Ethan Ellington was after. So what are... The pros, well, I'm going to start with the price. These pens start for, at a price point of 63 Australian dollars. That is with the medium nib, and then depending on the nib you choose, the price changes and goes up ever so slightly. But that's quite okay. I think that's a good price point. It puts it, uh, it puts it much more expensive than a lot of other Chinese-made metal fountain pens, but much under uh, a range of other entry-level or budget-friendly fountain pens as well. One thing I think is really nice is that uh, Ellington Pen offers a international one-year warranty on the pens. So they're putting some backing behind the quality of what they've done and the build quality. And the build quality is very good and the nibs are, are fine. Um, as I said, the medium is particularly wet and smooth, but the build quality is good and they write very well. In fact, I think the feeling of that ex of that fine nib here on the, uh, on the Stealth is one of the nicest writing experiences uh the like the feel on the page uh, is one of the nicest i've experienced in a little while it was very pleasant i also think the stealth model here looks really cool like that all black you know body and this like, glossy trim on it i think it looks really sharp it's an interesting looking pen it's not a it's not a big pen as i've said you know like it's a smaller pen in the hand um but it's a very comfortable pen and i think it looks great and there are a ton of great finishes. Like the three I've got here are all really nice. Then there's some other beautiful color ones. And uh, I think they're probably realistically going to continue to come out with a range of different color options as, you know, trends come and go. One thing I also like is the fact that this, uh, I like this n nut feature as a design element. I think that looks nice. And I also like the fact that it kind of works um, as a bit of a roll stop. It's just a nice element that I enjoy about this pen. So this was three versions of the Ellington Pen Fountain Pen, um, the Scarlet Slate, the Stealth, and the Silver Sonata. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button, all of that kind of stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, I'd love to hear from you. It's your support that makes this channel possible. And a big thank you to Ellington Pen for sending these pens out for review. I've really enjoyed them. I've been using the Stealth quite a lot. It's a style of pen with a Stealth that I really enjoy. And I said it's quite a comfortable pen in the hand and a nice feel on the page. So a big thank you to them for sending these out. Uh, and um, I hope you found it interesting. So whatever you're writing with, enjoy your pens and I'll talk to you soon.